Yeah, for a small fee.
Rồi. Just gonna do a lap around the field. Yeah, and we'll speak to a couple of people. So hello. How long do I do go? Not long, yeah. I had a lot of time off shooting. Oh, a little while. I'll see if I can get one up closer to you. Do you always camp in the same spot? No, every year we're in a different field, or we're in the woods, or different places. Hi, Phil. You want to film? Yeah. No, film up here. We'll go down there, and then we'll get you to film. Hands free. <laughs> Do you know what tent that is? Um, OG tent. That's a lavu. Can you get it in the shot? Yeah. Lavu. I'm going to film a truck. Film a truck. That one's got camo netting on it. Yeah. You got it in the shot? That's a little wobbly. Yeah, I got it. It's all talking. Yes, you could. That one's all painted green. <laughs> Matt, green. Did he go and that? <laughs> I love it. You got the tyres in it? Yeah, that's my boss. It's bigger than my car. Oh, look at this. He's on sale. There you go. Get some tyres in shot. Stand back here. So it all fits in. <laughs> chunky tyres. Well, there's a snorkel on the side there. And the lights. See if you can get the lights in and the snorkel. Oh, look. Good angle. Some people have some good cars now, yeah. Yeah, lots of money. Yeah. Could have scored today, man. You buy this off the raffle? Nah, I bought that when I bought a go. The zoom is good in it though. If yeah. you can hold it really still. Down, so I'm point it, say, over there. Watch this, see? And then when you zoom in, yeah. look how small it gets. Gone. Not bad, is it? That's good. There you go, bit of moving action. Feel it moving, coming in. Try and keep the camera nice and still. Action shot. Film, it? Yeah. Another Oz tent in front of you. Mm. Record in. We've got the red dot on there. Yeah, it's a yeah. Should we go with video funky? It's the Darren. Yeah, go on then. Get his car. Because I have a video film his tent. His tent set up here. How do you zoom in? Uh, yeah, push it. Oh, I'll go the other way. Oh, got there. But like, don't get the inner side of this tent, we'll go get the like, tent and his car next to each other. Is it all about looking good? I got his car and I got his tent. Filming! Filming, yeah! Live stream! Can yeah, you, you zoom in on the blue van down the bottom? smoke come out of the chimney and that might look cool if you can zoom in all the way down there. Might wanna yeah. see if you pause for a second it will sort of focus. Zoom out a little bit. Hard to keep it steady isn't it? Now that, that looks good. And then go. hold it on there and then zoom right out so then it just shrinks and disappears. It's hard work this filming stuff. I think your dad done a lot of it when he made his knife didn't he? Half film? Yo, what's up? Work faster, slave! Yo, work faster! Work faster, not harder! Yo, can we fill in? Can you get in the shot? Can you get in the shot? Oh, oh the milk? Which one? The milk? The biscuits? The there somewhere? Okay, you want to record some stuff? Yeah, the best one is. Come on, let's have a look at what we're doing. This is the zoom and stuff. Come on, go on, Ed. Give me in. We out here. Uh uh uh. 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 Uh uh uh
No, go over there. Ready? Ha! He's gonna shuttle shooting. Got it. Oh my god. He's gonna shuttle shoot in a sec. Leave him at five minutes. No, he said he was gonna do a round and then we're gonna do shooting. Try and get some more juice. Right, let's go that way. Look, dirty truck. I'll see you later on. Alright, mate. Yeah. Oh, see, see you later. See that muddle over it. That's the car you like, with mud on it. If there's a clean car, you've not been driving it properly. There you go. Hello. You're right, the missus up. Yeah, because we need to go shopping and have dinner. You would have to? No, that was breakfast earlier. You haven't been shopping yet. You're gonna set up shooting first. See how ugly she is. <laughs> oh, yeah, camo car. Don't get the problem, will you? It's important, Johnny. You do it. Can you just say the zip part's okay? No. Your car. A little bit of mud in it. Um, I'll, I'll just get in it the other way around. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Have a lovely tent. Should we start recording? The battery's going to run out. Yeah, she'll be putting it back here and there. It should last about a week. Oh, we'll go through here and then stand there, video them blokes, and say, Oh, you're all having a good time. And watch what they do on camera. But yeah, zoom out. Is it out? Yeah, zoom the other way. Bring it all the way out. Yeah, go on. You're all having a good time. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. All the way out. You all having a good time? Is everyone having a good time, he's asking? Yeah, we're having a brilliant time. Why are we having a good time? Yeah, no, you're not even going to put it across the other end. Have a good drive. Have a good drive. Have a good drive. Have a good drive. Have a good Yeah. <laughs> you got the food in there? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Have we got any mustard? Come with us. I'm going to stop filming for a bit. Cool. Squeezy mustard. No. Look, I'm just as bad. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. I like that windbreaker because it looks like a wall. <laughs> Steady. I think you skipped that one, we got it. Three in a row. Yep, got that one as well. Four in a row. Everyone's gone home. You zoom. What's the trademark sound? It's the first time I've had the camera out. Everyone's gone home.
couple of people up there. Handful of people in them woods. But yeah, most people, well, some people packed up yesterday. A couple of people left. Packing up. Lifted up the side of the tent. So they just keep going through the doors and walking through stuff. We've got easy access just to grab stuff from like one side of the tent that's open. And uh, the other side's open as well. Lots to pack up. Loving the lavu. The raised curtain. That one's packing up. Bats down there the other night. Absolutely bad for videoing. Been chilling chill and socialising all the time, so sorry there's no footage. If you want to see what goes on, come down next year. Little update, pack it up, we've got a tiny bit of space left there. Get another suitcase in, a little gap down there. Yeah, so we've only got to get in that because we need the ratchet straps to get the tent on the roof. So the panel slides in on the top, so all that stuff there. A little bag and some bottles of water go in there. Just about to get the tent down. Fold the barbecue up, they can go on the roof or uh, in the back somewhere to fit in. And all the tent and the poles go on the roof. Got the bedroom compartment there, that goes in the bag with the tent and all the poles and the, well, the pegs and all the joiners and the mallet. Darren's just pulled away. Um, <laughs> feels pretty empty now. So yeah, the, the car's fully loaded. More stuff than we needed, but still, again, didn't bring loads of stuff. Would have been nice to have the wood stove and would have been nice to have the toilet and the shower and the shower tent. But that meant bringing the trailer, and with the trailer on the back of here, it would have been great to carry all that gear in the trailer and not have a load on the vehicle. But uh, I'm I'm off to Durham now. Just done what? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday here. I've got another five, six days in Durham. So I've got uh, well, that's four hours, at 70 mile an hour. But I'll be doing 55 mile an hour. It's going to take me all day to get up there. Then I've got to go all the way up from. At the northeast, down at the south coast, with a trailer. I'd rather not. But yeah, everyone's gone. Literally. But just didn't get much time. A few visitors went out yesterday. Uh, came back here, didn't, didn't video anything. Uh, a lot of it was personal and uh, family moments. But it's been a great four days. Uh, the raffle was great, the donations were put in. Uh, we put in the camo extra, extra large shirt and then we saw quite a tall chap who won it, so we're happy for that. I lost my Wessex blade knife. Um, I got it last year off Scott. If anyone comes across my Wessex blade knife, it's a little inch and a half inch blade. Um, yeah, the blade's about an inch and a half long. It came in um, the black sheath that goes in my belt. I'll try and get a picture up now. But if it was lost in front of the tent, because I had the, the car, a gap, and then the tent, and we were in that gap there. And yesterday I was talking to Roach, and I got changed in, in front of him, but we had a basher between us. So um, I got changed, took my camo trousers off and belt, that I had my, belt, uh, my knife on, and when I put my jeans on to go and do some civvy stuff, that's where I dropped it, between the car and the tent. So we drove off, came back, no knife. So I think someone might have walked past the tent, and they've gone, well, yeah, I found the knife. 
but it's, it's a £150 knife, which I couldn't afford to buy. So a good lady bought it for me last year. And I'm in pieces, I uh, lost my knife. So if you did come across a knife, or you know someone come found one. Um, I don't mind swapping it for another knife, but um, yeah, that was bought the weekend I got the woods. So I've had that knife every time I go down the woods, and it's my EDC knife for camping as well. So if anyone come across it, um, I'm happy to exchange it. I'll go and buy a, a half decent knife from somewhere, if need be, so they're not missing a knife, because they might have found it and gone, oh, I need a knife. Um, but yeah, I'll get a picture up. It's got Wessex Blade logo on it. Came in a black hard plastic sheath for the belt clip. And uh, yeah, if anyone did find it, please, please. I don't have money to replace stuff like that. Um, if it was a, a 5, 10, 15, 20 pound knife, I'd, I'd be right, but it's like 150 quid of arrowhead money, really. I told her not to buy me the damn thing in the first place because it's a lot of money. But yeah, that's the prep of me. Didn't really do much videoing at all. Got no photos. So I'll just have to do some screenshots from the videos I got, which is about seven minutes. But it's great to see everyone again. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. I might do another clip in a minute when I've actually got the tent down. But uh, yeah, the tent going up and down is on another video from a few weeks ago down the woods. Right, I'm going to go because this camera weighs a ton with the light and accessories and stuff. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. And the tripod's packed away. the right height. Right, all packed up. I'm on my phone. Got some rubbish there to put on the roof and take to the bin. But uh, <laughs> this is totally packed up. Tents on the roof. Wheel arches aren't too bad. Could be better. You can see it's a bit low at the back. It's not to be expected. It is a small Japanese car with four wheel drive. It's not a four wheel drive car. It's a small car with four wheel drive. I have to keep reminding myself. The fire up here. Last two nights. And the first couple of nights the fire was here. The only marks we've made from the gas of fire. One there and one there, which is just scorched grass. It will grow back. Not like some of these crazy fire pits I'm not going to show, but you know that they're there. So, that's on the terrier, so off on another adventure. 9x9's on the tent, ratchet strapped down. 9x9's uh, on the reef, or ratchet strapped down. And hopefully we'll pick up a bit more mud on the way. Okay, this is where Pete was. Uh, Pete was here. Roach was here. And uh, Funky and family were here. And I've been picking up raffle tickets um, all week where the raffle was here. And I've been picking them up for me and they've been blown across to me. So, yeah, thanks to everyone that took part in the raffle. Um, and thanks for everyone who didn't win, who just discarded their tickets and walked away. I've picked up loads of these. And that's all that's there. Right, apart from that, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm off on my holiday now. Um, next camp for me will be um, Camp Shaky, December. Um, looking forward to it, can't wait to see everyone. And that's really well run, like this place. Fantastic place. Uh, Jeff is an amazing host. And the Camp Shaky boys do a fantastic job. It is great. Can't recommend it enough. So get down there. Well, hopefully see you next time.